So Asus sent us AMD's latest budget-oriented GPU, the RX 6600, and it promises epic 1080p gaming without costing an arm or a leg. You also have access to AMD exclusive technologies like RDNA 2, smart access memory, and so much more. I'm Rocky the Programmer, and in this video, we're going to try and find out if the RX 6600 is indeed the new 1080p king. What's up, Internet? Mahira pa rin makakuha ng PC parts ngayon, but that doesn't mean you can't get this shirt to remind you of what you still need. Jokes aside, na totoo naman, we made our very first merch to not only reflect our passion for PC building, but to help you teach your friends what you know through the Hardware Sugar PC Anatomy shirt. To order, go to our site or click on the link in the video description. Hover over products and select t-shirts. We have three designs and they come in sizes ranging from small to XL. Press add to cart, select your delivery option and your payment terms. We deliver anywhere in the Philippines, but you can save on the delivery fee by paying and picking it up in our store in Makati. And if you wear it long enough, baka maswertehan ka, and you'll finally get the go signal from your significant other or your parents to finally get that AIO or RTX 3080 that you've been dying for. Okay, so standard disclaimer lang. Asus did send us this review unit for free, pero wala silang say dun sa magiging verdict namin sa review na ito. So for specs, it has 8GB GDDR6 memory, PCIe support, 2064MHz of base clock, and 2491MHz of boost clock. It also has one HDMI 2.1 port, and three display port, 1.4 ports. It also sports a dual fan configuration housed in a 2.5 slot card and with very minimal and very subdued na design. Aesthetically, it looks very, yun nga, very subdued. You have seen this GPU before, but that's not essentially a bad thing. If you care about your rig's aesthetics, this card won't disrupt your overall rig's look. It requires one 8-pin PCIe power and Asus recommends a 500-watt power supply. I'm surprised honestly that it's that high considering na it's a very low-power GPU. Pero I guess Asus wants to, you know, medyo overshoot in terms of the power requirements. So you can have headroom if you decide to overclock it. So to test your performance, I used this PC which is a 5600X system with 16GB of RAM, NVMe SSD, so forth. It's a very mid-tier to medyo high-end system. And basically, that's what the 6600 is targeting. Yung mid-range na, you know, mga 1080p na systems. So for the tests, we used a couple of productivity tools and synthetic benchmarks along with, of course, games in 1080p ultra settings. For productivity, it manages passable results in Blender and Blackmagic RAW and that's using 8K video files. Um, we expected it naman kasi this wasn't designed as a workstation GPU. Pero if you know you have your occasional video editing or mga light na 3D workloads, it wouldn't be a disaster. Okay naman siya for that. So for gaming, it's looking good. Um, I've tested quite a few games that are notorious for, you know, not being optimized and some are very demanding. It manages naman to have above 40 FPS and some greater than 60 FPS on some games. Um, it just struggled. <laughs> like every system out there, it's a struggle dun sa Cyberpunk 2077. Again, that was in ultra settings, ray tracing on. And dahil this is an AMD card, wala siyang access dun sa DLSS na technology. So, medyo mababa yung result niya. But still, for any other game, it's passable. It's very enjoyable and playable. Uh, as well as yung, I think, yung market nitong GPU na ito, which is yung esports people. For Valorant, we got over 300 FPS at the highest settings at 1080p and 200 FPS on Dota 2. Again, highest settings. Overall, it's a great 1080p card in terms of performance. It outpaces the 2060 by quite a margin and it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the 3060. And that's still, you know, it's an AMD na card and of course, it's gonna be cheaper than those cards. So, yun. So now naman, let's take a look at ASUS exclusive na technologies. So what are the features here that differentiate it from other 6600s out there? So first is yung kanyang cooler design. Again, it's a dual fan configuration and ASUS calls it yung actual tech design ng fan nila. Basically, it's designed to maximize yung downward pressure 
no fan. So yung heat dissipation, it doesn't go everywhere. It's just pointed and directly dun sa fence ng cooler. That's, it's gonna result in really um, manageable temperatures. And that's what we observed actually. Dun sa maximum na full load na as in yung habang nagsa cyberpunk kami and also habang nagbe blender render kami, yung temps niya, yung maximum na temps is 72 degrees, which is actually very good. We didn't have any other 6600 to compare it with, but for the workload and the tests na games na ginawa namin, the temperatures are looking really good. Another medyo bagong design na ginawa ng Asus is the bracing sa mismong chip ng GPU itself. So sabi nila, it helps with the even mounting pressure ng pinaka-cooler niya dun sa die niya mismo. So it would result in very good temperatures and that's what we observed nga. Another advantage of that is that it, it reinforces the chip. So it's sturdier, hindi siya nag-flex masyado and that's it. So dun sa software side naman, meron yung Asus na GPU Tweak 2 app. So that's an MSI Afterburner equivalent actually, pero exclusive siya sa Asus na cards. What's special about this is, yes, it's very similar to Afterburner in terms of like what you can do with it, in essence overclocking, pero meron na silang mga nakaset na values and mga nakaset na profiles that's tuned exactly for the chip itself. So for you know for the yung mga baguhan pa lang sa PC and mga hindi naman masyadong marunong mag-overclock you can overclock your Asus cards with this. So it's going to be safe, it's going to be faster and you're going to run clocks na Asus has already tested. But if you know your way to sa pag-overclock, you can enable your professional mode which lets you fine tune and talagang ikaw yung magse-set ng values ng voltages, yung core clock, yung power limits and so on. Overall, this is a good budget-friendly card. It's not flashy, it's not super powerful, but it does the job that it's set out to do. Provide a good 1080p gaming experience without requiring you to sell your kidneys. Asus has been turning out really great quality components and the 6600 is not an exception. Highly recommend. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puwa na to. Hindi, joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.